Hey everyone, my name is Ajit Saravanan and I'm with the San Jose Public Library and welcome to video number three of our guitar tutorial series. In this video, I will be talking about scales, what they are, how they help you, and then I'll be showing you five different scales and teach you how to play them. Okay, so first let's talk about what scales are. So basically, scales are a series of notes that can be played in ascending or descending order. Uh, guitarists use scales to play melodies, riffs, solos, and all of that. Um, so these scales are basically the basis of any improvisation, any melody, any solos. And every time you're not playing part of a rhythm or any chords, you're playing part of a scale. And most guitarists, like I said in songs, they use scales to play solos, melodies, riffs, and all of that. So now let's talk about how scales help you. So scales are usually played across the fretboard like up the fretboard, down, like all of this, right? Different scales have different patterns across the fretboard. It just varies on the type of scale you're playing. So playing these improves technique and coordination in both of your hands of the guitar, because you're gonna be going all up and down, all up and down, all up and down like that. Okay, so first we're gonna learn about an open position scale, which basically covers all the notes that we're gonna use today. And when I say open position, it kind of means we're not leaving past the fourth fret. So don't worry about going all the way up here doing anything too hard because this is going to only be from the open strings up to the fourth fret of the strings. So let's start with our uh, open position scale. So we start off at uh, the E string at the bottom like this and we play the open note. Then we play the F on the first fret, then the G on the third fret. And then we play the A string, and then the B on the 2nd fret, and then the C on the 3rd fret, and then the D string, and then the E on the 2nd fret, then the F on the 3rd fret, then the G string, and then the A on the 2nd fret, then the B string, then the C on the 1st fret, then the D on the 3rd fret, then the high E string, then the F on the first fret, and then finally the G on the third fret. So basically that scale sounds like As you can see it went in ascending order, hitting most of the major notes. Um, not most of the major notes, all the major notes from there from the uh, E string up to the 3rd fret G, uh, G on the high E string. And now, let's look at the C major scale. So, when we're looking at a C major scale like this, um, we're going to only go from the bottom C, well not the bottom C, the lower C, to the higher C in, in that scale I just showed you. So, in that scale, our first C occurs on the 5th uh, string on the 3rd fret over here. This is our C right here because it's the A string, A sharp, B, C. So this is our C string, I mean not C string, our C uh, note right here. And then our second, our higher C is gonna be on the second string on the first fret over here. So as you can see, this is our lower C, and this is our higher C. So now instead of playing that entire scale sequence I showed you, we're only gonna play from the lower C to the higher C. So basically, it goes like this. Uh, you start the C, then you just go up the scale until the first fret of the second string. So, there, we play from the lower C to the higher C. So, fast it would sound like. As you can see, we're going from the lower C up to the higher C instead of playing the entire sequence. And yeah, that's the C major scale in the open position. So now let's move on to our next scale, the A minor scale in the open position. So we're going to be playing from our low A to our high A, just like we played from our low C to our high C in the C major scale. So here we go. Our low A is obviously going to be the fifth string, the A string, so it's going to be this. And our high A is going to be the second string, I uh, mean not second string, the third string, second fret, and it's gonna sound like this. So, it's our low A and our high A. 
So now we're gonna play the scale uh, all the way from the low A to our high A. So it goes like this. So as you can see, we're still continuing that original open position scale I showed you, except we're only playing from the A, the low A to the high A. Um, and that's how the A minor goes. It goes like this again. That's from the low A to the high A. Okay, so now let's move on to our G major scale. And this one is going to be a, a bit different than the other two scales that we did so far, because there's actually three Gs in our open position scale. Um, our first G is going to be the lowest, it's going to be the 3rd fret and the 6th string right here. Our second G is going to be, I guess you could call it the medium G, it's going to be on the 3rd string, the G string. And then our high E will be on the 3rd fret of the 1st string. So how we're going to play this is basically we're going to go from the lowest E, uh, I mean lowest G uh, to the highest G. Uh, so we're just going to pretty much play the entire scale except we don't include the first two notes. So it's gonna sound like this. So fast it would sound like. And there we go. We went from the lowest G to the highest G. Uh, G. And that's the G major scale. Okay, so now we're going to our next scale, which is the E minor. So this is also like the G major because it also has three different notes in our um, open position scale. Um, we have three different E's, so our first E is obviously going to be the low, low E string. Our second E is going to be the, um, the second fret on the fourth string. And then our high E obviously is our first string, the high E string. And uh, this basically, we're playing um, from the bottom of the scale up to the top, except we're gonna stop at our first string instead of going past that. So it would sound like. And that's the E minor scale. Okay, so our next scale is called the E minor pentatonic scale. It's not the same as our E minor scale that we just did. It's actually different. It's called the E minor pentatonic, which is mostly used for blues and rock guitar solos. It's cool sounding, it's easy to memorize, and it just has less notes overall. So it's gonna go a bit different, so I'll explain each note this way instead of just telling you to play along up the scale. So we're gonna start off um, at our, the same E because we're gonna use the same three E's we did. So our first E is gonna be down here, the sixth string, and then instead of going to the F, we're gonna go hop up straight to the G up here. So you go like. And then we're gonna go to the A string. And then we're gonna hop up to the B on the second fret. And then we're gonna go to the fourth string, uh, the D string. Then we're gonna hop up to the E on the second fret. Here's our second E, but we're still gonna go all the way to the top. And then we're gonna go to the G string. And then we're gonna go to the second fret A. And then we're actually gonna go up to the B on the fourth fret. Then we're going to the B, uh, um, the B string. And then we're gonna go to the D on the third fret. Then we're gonna end off at our first string, the E string. So as you can see, um, it is a bit different from our previous E minor scale. So it would go like this. And there we go. That is the E minor pentatonic scale. Um, also, you, you don't have to play the B string. You can also just replace it with the fourth string, uh, I mean, fourth fret of the third string because they're both Bs. This and the B string. So uh, you could skip over the B, the open B string, or you could skip over the fourth fret of the G string. Um, it matters on your preference and everything. So that's the E minor pentatonic scale. And there we go. Those are the five scales that we went over the C major, A minor, G major, E minor, and the E minor pentatonic. 
So that about wraps it up for this video. We went over what scales are, how they help you, and I showed you five different scales that you can use yourself. So I hope you learned something from this video, and if you didn't, I hope you would learn something from our other videos or the upcoming videos in the future. And I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, and make sure to subscribe to the San Jose Public Library channel for more videos like this and maybe from other creators too. So thanks for the watching and I hope you have an amazing day.